Elmo's talking a little shit right now. Let's hear him out for a little bit. Elmo will fucking rain hell on your ass. Listen to me. I swear to God. Elmo will come down there and rain hell fire upon your ass. Let's go, baby. I, that's what we needed. In the rain, too. I fucking hate the rain, but let's do it. Bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Pirates have put a stranglehold on the number one spot in the poll. This team has maintained its focus. They've remembered the hard work, the effort, the energy. The Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Way back in the summer that gets them to this point. And you just get a feeling. Let's go, baby. They're not about to have a face plan. Number one, rushing touchdowns. Same passing touchdowns. We're pretty bad. Um, rush offense were better. Pass offense were slightly better. Yeah, passing touchdowns were not the greatest. Fuming Deacons. Hope he crashed in that motorcycle, dude. Hope he crashed in that motorcycle. Little bitch. Little bitch. Gotta sling that rock. Yes, sir. That's, that's the goal, man. We're gonna try to sling it. We're going to try to sling the living shit out of that ball. Yeah, I appreciate you coming in here, the Dark Spectre, with the, uh, with the mind and everything. Let's go, baby. Pales never fails. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, Dark, congratulations on the Bears beating the... Uh, I know, I mean, I know it's not that big of a win because it's kind of expected for you guys to beat the Lions, but a win's a win, man, in the NFL. Oh, excuse me, guys. What a boot. What a boot. There we go. Uh. Alright, let's do coaching style. Oops, nope. Not what are we doing? Catching conservative. There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's rain hell in their ass. We tried to give lines number one, right? Dude, <laughs> holy shit. It's a little quiet here in uh in Wake Forest. Oh, there we go, Killick. There we go, Killick. Good job knocking that ball out. Yeah, dude, the Lions almost squeaked out of it, man. I mean, I didn't watch the whole game, but looking at the highlights, it looked brutal. It looked brutal, but but I'm glad the uh, the Bears won for you. There we go, Sammy. There we go, Sammy. I'll usually for the first half. <laughs> for sure, man. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, third and five. Let's go ahead and rain hell. Let's keep raining hell on them. Let's keep raining hell. Even though this doesn't mean anything. Let's go. Hope everyone... Yo, quite a Thunder. Hope you had a great day, man. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Or happy late turkey day. Hope you had a great day. G.G. Bronco, welcome in, man. Been asleep most of the day. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Yeah, honestly, if I didn't have a lot planned today, I would be sleeping all day too, dude. I'd be sleeping all day too. Yeah, that was a catch. That was definitely a catch. Yeah, it's got to stand. That was a catch. So he had both feet in bounds. That was a bullshit play, but that was, that was... They deserved that first down. Oh, it was incomplete. Holy shit. We'll take that, dude. Got to dump my plate beer back for sure. Not bad. Very good field position. Courtesy of the courtesy of the defense. Yeah, Thunder, hope you had a great day too, man. Yeah, it was definitely a uh, pretty 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 good um pretty solid uh pretty solid um base game for me today. 
Alright, I counter. You don't feel... Oh, there we go. Why are we dancing around back there? Get downfield and fucking get your feet going. Come on, Malenko. You're the Heisman frontrunner, dude. You are the Heisman frontrunner. You run like that? Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 42. Let's go, Patrick. Let's go, Patrick. Let's go, Patrick. Let's go, Patrick. Keep going. Keep going. There we go, baby. There we go. What a fucking run by Patrick Smith. Triple option to perfection. Get out of here, dude. Patrick Smith, too good. Too good. A little too late there, 24. A little too late there. There we go. There we go. That's how we set the tone, baby. That's how we set the tone. And we got UCLA with a dub over USC. To be expected. Yo, Snossages. Happy Thanksgiving to you, man. How are you doing today, dude? How was your day? Very quiet here in Wake Forest. Very quiet. Very quiet. Excellent kick. That's the intimidation factor there, man. We're so good. The fans are even. The fans aren't even speaking up right now, dude. Well, this is what their coach talked about: getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense right. move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this. All right, what we got here? We got a double tight. They just need to go out Let's spread these out. A little bit of happy feet down there. False start. The Let's get the call. False start. That penalty will move them back. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Young guys out there. It's bound to happen occasionally. So we'll have first and 15. First and 15. All right. Let's see here. All right. We have split back. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Killing Band Cam almost had that play. Way to lurk. Way to lurk. Staying right on the hip of that. Right on the hip of that dude. Beautiful. Oh, excuse me, guys. There we go. I like that. I like that. Way to fill. Get six yards on the carry. Excuse me. Let's go. All right, third and nine. We got four wide with the traditional spread. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got the flat. We got the corner. Let's go, Dark Spectre coming in. Who's that 51? Is that Cincy Bowen? There we go, baby. There we go. Yo, Dark Spectre, thank you for the shout out to Snossages. If you guys haven't followed Snossages yet, dude, make sure you give him a follow. A great dude in the NCAA community. And he's a professional football player in real life, guys. So if you guys haven't checked him out yet, make sure you give him a follow. One of the most informative offensive linemen you'll ever meet. DJ Bozak, welcome in, dude. How's everything, man? I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Hit it wide, hit it wide, hit it wide. Oh, Ben can't. Oh, way to get up the field. I'll take that. That was beautiful. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? I like that. I like that. All right. Oops, nope. Let's kind of expand the playbook a little bit. I think one of my biggest uh, flaws in the game is that I tend to spam some plays a lot. Way to block down a field. Holy shit, T. Clizzle Pimpizzle. I like that, dude. That was beautiful. That was beautiful, dude. He looks stronger. He looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year. It's just to see how Thanksgiving is and isn't celebrated around the world. No, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Yeah, I think it's only like a, uh, a U.S. kind of holiday. So Nobody. Down, What's going on, man? Happy Thanksgiving to you. Patrick Smith with the grab, baby. Damn, son. Where'd you find yeah, hope you had a great day, man. Yeah, I hope everyone had an amazing, an amazing uh, Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's got some full tummies. A lot of food coma. A lot of good eats today. Oh, he spun too early. Son of a bitch. We would, like, really try to do this up-tempo thing. How was my Thanksgiving? It was great, dude. Um, yeah, so yesterday I was hanging out with my youth, youth group kids. Um, doing, like, a Friendsgiving. I found out that we had a performance, like, last minute yesterday. So we woke up at 7, had a performance at 9 at a church. So it was good. It was good to see the kids, like, because uh, they have, like, a club at their school. So it was, like, their first, like, public performance. Like, some, like a performance outside of... Um, performance outside of uh, school performances so it was really good to see them you know enjoy themselves and get after it uh had had uh had lunch with some of the kids too today let's go so it was good yeah we, tr we treated our kids out to some lunch and then uh hung around and my brother he's a fireman and um so he, and he was working today so him and his fire buddies were cooking up dinner and a lot of the families and relatives of uh of his co-workers were there too so it was a good uh hangout spot you know they had like this fucking awesome ass like in the in the trucks of the fire fire station uh, or in the garages of the fire station they have like tv set up in the back so they park their their, their cars up or the, the what do you call it, the engines up front so they had that up front and then uh, everybody was hanging out in the garage where it was like all closed up because there was probably about like maybe like, 30 people there so it was good it was good and then, uh, yeah, we got there, and the Raiders were in the the Cowboys were playing, so that, I, I was entertained and had some fire ass food. There was a uh, my mom made egg rolls. Uh, other people made like lumpia, which is like a Filipino egg roll. Uh, what was it there? Was, they had a turkey from a Traeger. Uh, someone else made baked mac and cheese. What else was there? Um, like a green bean casserole. What else is there? And a show. There's there a lot of apple pie. Oh, they made it like the stuffed mushroom little like appetizer thing and like the stuffed uh, jalapeno shell. They put some like ground beef in there. Dude, that shit was fucking amazing, dude. So fire. Yeah, and my stomach is bloating like a motherfucker right now. But it was good, man. It was good hanging out, seeing my, my brother's coworkers. They're all pretty, they're all cool guys. They celebrate Thanksgiving in Japan. Oh, nice. Best game of the day was Cowboys. No, I, I totally agree. That was a great game. That was a great game. I was hope my only dislike about that game was that Darren Waller got hurt because he was a tight end from one of my uh, fantasy teams. Yeah, just got the dose that I helped. Yeah, sure. Oh, absolutely. Since you're an Eagles fan, that's for sure. I'm sure you, you were very happy about that. Do you think the Cowboys were screwed by the rest, though, uh, Snossages? There were some calls that were questionable, but dude, fucking Prescott to the uh, that tight end man, that guy's yeah. There was a lot of flags. Let's go. Who was that? Who's fifty-two? Who's fifty-two? Nah, he's not a creative player. John Ross, you sexy beast. Refs done screwed a bunch of teams lately. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Fourth and long here after the sack. Yo, Mr. Murdercap, how you doing, man? Happy Thanksgiving to you, man. Hope you had a great day and at least a day off. If you're working, hope you're having a great day. How's your day, uh, Mr. Murder? The rest made bad calls on both teams. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes I feel like it's too much of bad calls. You just let the players play. 
like the close calls should have been like no calls, but like the obvious calls should have been, you know, should have been called. But then, then again, that's easier said than done. I mean, I remember Vaughn talking about how he would referee games, and uh, some some people would give him shit for it. So it's a different perspective. Well, hope you're having a great day at work, man, and hope you get off soon. Get up field. That's a first down, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Miss me right now. Yes, making the money. Got to make that money, man. Dude, respect to you for working on Thanksgiving, dude. Because this this whole week, I actually took the week off. I took Monday through Wednesday off and I have today and tomorrow off. Because uh, my work's giving us the holiday for today and tomorrow. But but during the week, man, I had to take it. I was already checked out. I was already checked. Yo, T, Clint, open pistol. Get that block. Yes, sir. There we go. Yeah, holiday. That's the best, man. I wish we had more, but you know, yeah, you, you gotta. Sometimes when when the work milk you, you gotta try to your best to milk milk work back. You know, get that to get that dough. First and ten, ball on the seventeen yard line. Let's go, baby. Let's go downhill, down fucking hill, pin back, down fucking hill. Let's go. All right, great block up front. Not a bad run. Gain it five. I'll take that. Yeah, anybody doing any Black Friday shopping now or tomorrow? I know that the deals are pretty nuts. Well, actually, the deals haven't been as good as they've been since it like first started. Get that, Keenoff! Yes, sir! Touchdown. Wake up, Cyber Bunny. Yeah, absolutely, man. I feel like going in person is kind of like, it's not the best deals. And I don't want to deal with fighting people for shit. And honestly, if I was a worker on Black Friday or on on a Thanksgiving day, I'd be pissed, man. I wouldn't want to go to work. I'd, I'd just fucking quit. I was in the Mary queue for Next Gen Systems. Nice, dude. Dude, hope you get it, man. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. 21-0 in the first, first quarter, dude. Man, these these uh, pirates are eager to come back and play. It's been a long time since we've had an ECU pirate game. There were six hundred, oh, sixty thousand MF people in the queue. Jesus, dude. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do. There's a lot of people in the queue, man. Guys. Yeah, just a warning. Um, I may be burping a lot. Just because my stomach's really full and I'm drinking like a hard seltzer right now to really help with the digestion. Took a walk with Miss Fam for about like an hour or so. And uh, it kind of helped. Shit, get there, Dan Jones. You got some Twitter beef today? Oh, shit. What happened? With some crown? Is it? Like within the NCAA community or just some some random schmo? You say I didn't get shit. Oh god. Yeah, that that when the queue is that high, Dark Spectre, it might not be the best deal for you. It's first down and ten now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Twitch pussy. Okay, got it. Hater. What, what was happening, Dark Spy? Uh, uh, Mr. Murder. There we go, dude. Cincy Bowen, two tackles, two tackles for loss and a sack. Pretty much he's been fucking making, wreaking havoc to the quarterback right now, dude. He cannot be touched. Like what Roy Jones Jr. would say, dude, can't be fucking touched, dude. So the sack makes this a second and long. Can't be touched. Can't be touched. Look at this. Look at this nonsense tied in motion shit. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? There's no point, man. There's no point. He banned you, Sean O'Henny, hoodie. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Well, you can't please everybody. And there's always going to be haters, no matter how much of a good person you may be. So, yeah, I say just, you know, what's that? Like what Dave Chappelle said, fuck him. Fuck him, because that's why. <laughs> so the 
sack makes this third and very low. Oh, absolutely, man. Get, get, get that shit out of here, dude. They, 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 those people aren't worthy. They're, they're not worth your time, Mr. Murda. The way I see it, there, there are some... I know there's haters out there, and there's... uh. Oh, tight spot with the snag! Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Yeah, there's always gonna be haters, man. And are there? There's they're haters because insecurities. They're haters because they're straight up jealous. And I don't know, man. Sometimes you know they just see something when they see happiness and other people, they get bitter about it. And that's the people I want to stay with from too. There we go, Malenko. He just salted because he wanted to be us, but just can't can't be us. Like, yeah, you know that's. I mean that's that's a sense of jealousy. There's nothing wrong with being envious, you know, you, you can definitely strive to like be a part of community and be cool and everything, but if you're being an asshole about it, then fuck him. Because I know there's people out there who, I, I mean, I know that there's people who say sh shit about me, you know, not gonna say who, or be passive aggressive and say shit and they like, you know, try to take notes and try to copy everything you do, so. And and you know what, man? To me, that's a compliment, but at the same time, that's like a sense of disrespect, you know. So, our bond is tight in MLB. No, absolutely, man. Dude, Henny's a great guy. Sean's a fucking awesome dude. Yeah, you guys are well respected, you know. I mean, honestly, I see you guys as both MLB the show and MCAA, and since you guys are like part of my like network, yeah, you guys are also a you know. I see you guys double dipping both and. I mean, you guys are amazing people. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, it's, if, they, if they have some sort of, sort of trauma or they're trying to project some shit onto you, then that that's something that they need to address and work on because we can't help you know there's we can there's so much stuff that we can provide that will not help them and there's some people who just be nasty about it you know so let's go fix let's go fix get the fuck off field thick yo tight spot how you doing man happy thanksgiving to you dude oh how was the um ucla gonzaga game i saw you uh tweeting that photo man i hope you had a great time dude Oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, oh, man. I can I can taste the, the deliciousness of the great food that that uh. Wayne Keenoff, yes sir. Yes sir. It was crazy, dude. Hey, how's the T-Mobile Center, by the way? Like, I know that they uh they have a few basketball games during the tournaments, like the West Coast tournaments and the Golden Knights. Like, how how's the st how's the stadium? Or did they say how's the arena? I know that shit gets pretty wild. I mean, I'm not a, I'm a Sharks fan, so I know that the, the Vegas Knights are a pretty uh, popular team down in Vegas. No bad spot. That's that's good to hear, man. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. There we go. Dude, these, these pirates are so eager and fucking excited to play today on Thanksgiving Day. So excited. So UCLA beat Gonzaga. I didn't really pay attention because I have I honestly I haven't. The only updates I've been getting on college basketball is Arizona State and Michigan. That's it. Everything else is kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. Zags won by 20. Okay. Yeah, UCLA, they uh they upset Michigan during the tournament. So I'm I'm I mean I'm not surprised that Gonzaga's slapping teams because they're fucking Gonzaga, so just surprised that Gonzaga honestly hasn't won a national I mean I don't think Gonzaga's really won a national natty at all. Yeah, they recruit great players. They recruit great players and they have a great coaching staff. I mean, for that guy to stick around for all those years and make Gonzaga like a decent team and go into the tournament like consistently, that's a that's a great program. 
Yeah, they lost last year in the final. I know that for sure. Oh, shit. I know they lost UCLA in the final, like, several years ago. Because I remember, like, I first noticed Gonzaga when there was, like, Adam Morrison. One of the ugliest dudes to ever play basketball. And he, he kind of killed it. Him and J.J. Redick were, like, the top draft picks out of the years. Pretty, it was actually quite funny to me. It's second down now, 14 to go. Stone and I were broadcasting on Stoner Sports. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, um, Ty Spot, how's your wife doing, man? Hope she's doing better. Oh, shit. Chazasaur, what's going on, man? Welcome in, dude. How are you doing today? Happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah, it's still, it's still Thanksgiving, so I'll keep saying Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Better still. Good, man. I'm glad, dude. I'm glad it's getting better and not getting worse. That's very, that's very good to hear, dude. Oh, Sammy! Sammy! I know it's raining and all, but you gotta catch that shit, man. Happy Black Friday online pre sales. Yes, sir. Any any good deals you're trying to cop on, Ty Spot? Certainly they don't have the return on here. Uh, honestly, I don't really. There's some years where I'm like, all right, I need this. But no, I'm like, I'm like, actually, I don't really. There's nothing really that I need to buy. I'm trying to conserve my money. Nope, broke it. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'm not really looking into. The only thing I may look into is like the Xbox Game Pass, but that's that's honestly about it. Cause I think my stuff expires. I think by the end of uh, so at some point in December. So. Ooh, that was a terrible pass, but we'll take it. You need to get some new hot sauce that comes at 5 p.m. What, what's this hot sauce coming out at 5 p.m. Uh, tomorrow? What's this new hot sauce? We talking like real hot sauce or are we talking like, like something that's saucy coming out? Patrick Smith, he is so active today, baby. Patrick Smith is so active today. Dude, T. Clizzle, Pimp Bizzle is playing a very efficient game today. I fucking love it, dude. Love it. Cheers, everybody. Get it wide. Hit it wide, random. A field. Let's go! What a fucking run. Great blocking up front. Fucking money, dude. Money. Ready for my new head coach to get announced today? Nice, 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 dude. There we go. There we go. Four days long enough. I want to. I want the coach just to be over with. No, absolutely, dude. I know that stuff becomes pretty annoying. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Never actually seen those tosses before. Yeah, thanks for that information, uh, Dark or uh, Tie Spot. Really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But to be quite honest with you, uh, hot sauce. I do fucks with it, but it's something that I don't really have in my. Uh, oh shit! Oh come on now. How you doing, brother? How's your Thanksgiving? About to go to sleep, just stopping by. Hey, yo, Michael Vaughn, thank you for coming by, man. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah, Thanksgiving was good, man. Had a great day. Really um, productive. Had a great time hanging out. No, it's just it's good to be home. Uh kinda hanging out and 
Let's go. It's good to be at home. Kind of winding down, digesting. Yeah, dude. ECU is fucking. Yeah, Dark Spike, you kind of got clapped a little bit but there, but you made the play. You made the play. Yeah, ECU's killing it. Yeah, but overall, dude, great day. Had a, had a great time hanging out with great people. Getting our minds off the bullshit. Get the fuck down, son. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Texas Pete's. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Walt. Get a killer. Get a killer. Get a field killer. There we go. Dude, they cannot stop us right now. They cannot stop us right now. You know, you can't just rely on one guy, and he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. Playing Baylor tomorrow, last game of the regular season before my sophomore season. Nice. Good for you, dude. Good for you. If this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge him. Good screenplay. Get blocked. There we go. Upfield, baby. Yeah, that's right, 24. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Yo, Anthony, happy Thanksgiving to you, man. Hope you had a great day with your family. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. Slings it quickly to his nah, that game is zero. And he's tackled around the 38 yard line. <laughs> That's right there with the the I see it. I see it. Dark Strike. I see you with the sauce. Give me just a minute, man. Appreciate that. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Nice. Nice. Hot Aqua Chase. You actually even had that fucking labeled on the stream already? There we go. Shit. Ooh. Patrick Smith, dude. That dude is. He's got to be MVP this game. He's got to be MVP. Triple a lot. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Are you following me on Instagram? Uh, Michael, can you do me a favor? If you want me to follow you, um, unfollow me and then follow me again. And then I will make sure to follow you back. Shit. There we go. All right, let me let me get you back with the follow. Right, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for the follow, Michael. Yeah, I hit you up with the follow back on Instagram. Oh shit, what am I doing, dude? I gotta kick a field goal. So it's down. Gotta get Jason pay some love. All right, I think we got a 50 yarder with the wind going against us. What a boot! What a boot! What a boot. Huge boot. There we go. 38-0, dude. Holy shit. You know what? I think we can get 69 points this game. We could potentially get 69. It was a boot, man. Jason paced the fourth. He got a boot. Check your messages out. Right, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I got you. I got you. I'll check it out when I when I when I'm off stream. Yeah. If I if I don't respond. Just, just spam it so I can like, f like make sure I'm. Cause I, I, one thing is that there's sometimes I, I like, I'll say I do something, but I might forget. So if I don't do it, just, just, just uh, feel free to re-message me back and be like, hey fam, check out my shit. So that way I don't forget. Cause I, I, I will forget. And I, I'm being real honest. Cause sometimes people be like, people be like, I got you, man. Oh, Ty Spot almost got that again. Holy shit. That would have been a second pick. 
you will like it for sure man i'll definitely check it out yeah just if i don't see it or take a look at it just remind me yeah because like sometimes when i'll be like yeah i'll totally do it i i honestly sometimes i'll forget that i don't do it so second down 10 to go it's kind of like when there's a bunch of people chatting and then someone says hi and then you just like don't see them saying hi and then they'll be like hey man you didn't, you didn't say hi back dude so so it's not like I don't like you or I'm being a dick. I just forget. Yeah, a lot of work had was done in that Kansas Jayhawk dynasty with post. Nice, dude. Yeah, dude, dude, that's that's awesome, man. Yeah, def it's awesome seeing like a uh, a um, a body of work with what people do with their dynasties, especially if they continue it. I think it's a work of art, in my opinion. Yeah, we're running man zero the whole game. We're not playing the zone. You're fucking running it. Oh, shit. Get him, Yates. Oh, he got the first down, you son of a bitch. The false alarm. What's the false alarm? That's, that's hot, though. That's hot, though. Dark Spectre. But it takes that time. Making. No, absolutely, dude. I totally agree with you, Michael. Like, with the post that I do on Instagram, honestly, my last post was like... I don't know when my last post was on Instagram. My last post, let me double check. My last post on Instagram. First and ten following that big run. Was like fucking I don't even know how how long ago. But Oh shit. I'm not even paying attention to the game right now. Oh shit, that is Son of a bitch. Yeah, dude, it's, it's been a while since I've actually posted. I kind of do a little bit more Twitter. Yeah, that was such a subtle... That was such a subtle uh, outface change. Dark Spectre. That, it's a little disappointing, to be quite honest with you. Ooh! John Ross, you sexy beast. Way to fucking lay some hats on that quarterback. Yeah, post posting stuff on Instagram does take time. It does take time. You, you, and you want to be very uh. There we go, James Games. Damn, no more shutout, dude. God damn it! Unless we get a turnover here. Come on, now turnover chain. Turnover chain. Turnover chain. Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! No, I was saying it, it just takes time to post. You know, honestly, I don't have like a. I'm not consistent with my Instagram post, so I totally agree with you about the. Um, you know about it. Just it just takes time to making post. Cause you gotta think of a good caption, and you gotta make sure everything looks right. And let's go, Austin Collie. Let's go, baby. Ooh, what the Austin Diaz? Oh, there we go. It was disappointing, G. It was very disappointing. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. They got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining... Maybe she's being modest, you know? Modesty is sexy. Oh, what a fucking spin ropes! What a spin! There we go. Damn, son, where'd you find this? If we beat Bailey, we'll be 12 enough. Nice, dude. Undefeated seasons are always fun. Undefeated seasons are always accomplishments. Let's go, random. Let's go, random. Dude, 224 rush yards in the first half, dude. 100 yards rushing and three touchdowns. For Malenko random already. All fuck. Oh shit. It's fucking second quarter with four seconds left. I was lost track of time. The Conference Championship next. Nice, dude. Good for you, Michael. Good for you, man. Damn it. We had some time left in the clock. God, the fuck. Fuck. I thought about running one more play. But that's okay. Nice, 
Yo, hope you had a good Thanksgiving too, Anthony. Thanks for coming in, man. I'll probably see you Saturday. I'll see you Saturday. They do. They do, Michael. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA. Yeah, so let's say if you win the conference championship and you win a bowl game, that'll be like two official games, so. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything. Welcome back to the action, and we hope the action will even up a little bit here in quarter number three. Let's go, Bank Camp. Let's go, Bank Camp. Let's go, Bank Camp. Great fucking blocking, baby. Great blocking, baby. Oh, why was he unblocked? Why was that dude unblocked? Come on now. Come on now. Dude, straight balling. These guys are straight balling, dude. I fucking love how these guys are playing right now. Patrick Smith, dude, he is very active today. Very active today. Four receptions for 45 yards. Oh, he did get that long ass little pitch from the uh, the triple option at the beginning of the game too. So they haven't even showcased his. Uh, they haven't even really sh uh, showcased his um, r rushing stats yet either, because he had a big old pitch. Get that block. Whoop! Oh, there we go. Yeah, dude, if, it, if if they blocked that one dude, that would have been a house call. That would have been a house call. Uh, How long did it take you to build ECU? So ECU was probably the hardest rebuild because I did like a modified... Um, I tried to, I, I attempted to do a, um, a death penalty. And the one thing that about it that didn't really work very well was the... Uh, shit. There we go. Um, I didn't follow like... I think he had to like... Delete everybody, and then once with the players you have, you have to like make everybody a punter. But I ended up just starting like uh, um, cutting like all my 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 upperclassmen. So my team went from like a uh, like a I think like a high seventies to like a low sixties, mid sixties. So it took me about like eight solid seasons to really get like a. It took me about eight seasons to finally get a natty. So um, we just did that le this past season. So it was probably the hardest rebuild so far. But UTSA it took me three seasons to get the natty. Um, and then with uh, when I was at ASU before we went to ECU, I had um, about it took me three seasons to get the natty. T close open blizzle for shizzle my nizzle. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then, th yeah, absolutely. We had to modify our recruiting. Yes, dude, uh, Dark Spectre. Shout out to Dark Spectre for fucking... He taught me this trick in the recruiting tool where any player who is puts you as number one on their list, you would um, delete the player if you give them a scholarship already and keep giving them a scholarship by adding them back and forth from the, the into the list so that way eventually you can get that insta cheese that's if you have a level three insta commit because with that dude like within week five or six of the season i'll be having like 20 plus scholarships already so uh. dude michael thank you man thank you for your kind words dude yeah dark specter dude i mean me and dark we learned from vaughn but dark taught me this other strategy that was from flemlo Who's a who's a beast in the game? So, Malenko, there you go. And so my my strategy is like a mix of Dark Specter and Vaughn, but Vaughn also uh or Dark Specter learns from Vaughn and uh, Flemlo, so I'm kind of like in the same boat as uh as Dark Specter, but Dark Specter definitely goes a little bit more in depth with his recruiting. For me, I'm just kind of like, I try to breeze through it, but I really take my time on the recruiting when I'm not streaming. So that way I really like build up the team. Get a feel. Oh my God. I can't actually take credit for it. Got the method from, yeah, Flem Low. I still take credit from you just because you taught it to me. But really, yeah, it's, it's, by, it's from Dark Spectre by way of Flem Low, rep, uh, Flem Low Raps. Yard line. 
Because recruiting, it took me, like, it probably took me a while. Like, I think until, like, maybe season 15 or 16. We're in season 20 now. But, uh, it took a while. It took a while. Y'all are great people. Not, yeah, thank you, Michael. Yeah, the Dark, Dark Spectre is the, he, 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 he's, he's a, he's a homie, man. There we go, baby. Let's go. Look at that. Pittsburgh up against Virginia Tech. Upset alert. Upset alert. I never, I have never been into recruiting. Honestly, when I played this in my younger years, I'm like recruiting stupid. And then what really caught my attention with recruiting and how important it is to really maintain success is to uh, really, you got to do go balls to the one recruiting. Um, really, the one guy that really caught my attention with recruiting was George. Uh, 49er George. Great dude in the NCAA community. Yeah, he, he's the one that like really like got me like, okay, I got to really get into this, you know. And then because he like jumped in, I think Dark Spectre jumped in too, being like, you know, 70% cheese. I think Blaze was another um, streamer that came in to my, to my thing, be like, hey man, the recruiting, you got to do either 70% cheese, low lock cheese, and um, make sure that you only use Juco if you're rebuilding in your early years, and aim for freshmen once you kind of have like an established, like, like, in a way, foundation. Yeah, 49, George really broke it down. Like, he pretty much like took everything that Vaughn did but like he's pretty much identical to Vaughn and then he'll like ask Vaughn for like advice when when he's streaming Dark Spectre with the sack baby that's what I like to see baby that's what I like to see baby And the revamp kind of kind of takes that, uh, that 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 recruiting strategy too. Yeah, revamp does a pretty damn good job with recruiting. Yeah, recruiting is uh I never really found fun in recruiting until I was taught how to recruit properly. Get better. Yeah, no, re recruiting is like a it's 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 a progression. You know, at first you're like, what the fuck is going on? And then once you you're educated and you kind of get taught on and you're like and afterwards you're like doing it and it works and, and then things just start clicking it just starts clicking yeah no yeah vaughn will definitely take his time that's what i love about vaughn too like he'll 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 justify Ooh! like uh vaughn will have like facts to back himself up on why he he makes his uh decisions on who he recruits and why he recruits them and like to the point where he's got like the uh the the the, the google excel sheets and like coloring them based on like red shirt and classmen and what position they're playing and all that stuff i'm like holy shit but it works because he's won natties in like his dynasties and He's won nat a shitload a load of natties. And he's established a system. He he's like a he to me he's like oh shit get on oh my god. Yeah, that must have been pretty much, dude. Th th this dude is like a walking recruiting. Walking recruiting encyclopedia. It's crazy how many plays you can run in this game using different plays every time it makes it interesting. No, absolutely, dude. I love that's the great thing about this game. Like you can run a spread, you know, pro style, single back, you can run the triple option. Um and the thing about this game with the revamp, you really gotta expand your playbook a little bit because the computer will catch on like your tendencies and your um kind of like your cheese play calls, they'll definitely like adjust to it. Shit, he crossed me up. Oh, James Games. Way to fucking recover, dude. What? He got crossed up, but he made up for it, man. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think it's good that the computer adjusts so it really makes you like, shit, that one didn't work. And then you try it again, you're like, all right, really, that, that didn't work. And then, like, you tried it for a third time. I, I, I got to stop running this play because computers catch up on it. Like, I like to run screenplays, especially with the uh, running back slip screen. And I know when it's not working, when they got, like, a lineman spying on my dude. And I, I'll try to cheese it again to make it work. Shit. Oh, bank him. I'm mad and they got it where you can't do the same play over and over. I mean, that's that's cool. I guess that's a positive with the Madden. That way they don't make you cheese. But I guess my argument with that is like, why can't you just, you know, make the computer stop it or make the, uh, the, the other user stop it? The game I play against Missouri is crazy. Nice, dude. Let's go, oh, Kali. There we go, Kali. Run past the kick. Don't block his back. Don't block. There we go, baby. To the 20. To the 10. Austin Kali. What the fucking house call, baby. What the house call. Yes, sir. Yo, Michael, that's what we like to call EA cheese, man. A game where you're supposed to win. And you have a crazy-ass game against a team that's just... That's not as good as you. I hate that. I hate it. But it is fun when you play some grinders, man. When you get into some, to some sweaty matches. I do I do enjoy the sweaty matches in NCAA. But not against a 2 and 8. Not against a 2 and 8. <laughs> they had nothing to lose and was doing crazy stuff. Dude, I don't blame them, dude. Gotta go balls to the walls when you're 2 and 8. Gotta take chances. There we go. Man, as great as this defense playing, 14 points shouldn't be a thing. It should have been a goose egg. It should be a goose egg. Like Lamar Jackson. Oh, God. Yeah, I hate it when quarterbacks are like a mix of Lamar Jackson or Tim Tebow. Like, they just decide to turn into those dudes. That is bullshit. I, yeah, that is, that is infuriating. Very infuriating. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying. Oh, you sliding bitch. About eight yards there on the scramble. You sliding bitch. Oh shit, underneath. Oh god, Dark Spectre, you got tossed over. God damn it. Derek Massey, you son of a bitch. One reception for 13 yards. That's all you're gonna get, man. That's all you're gonna get. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, he threw it out of bounds. Kansas Jayhawks has been one of the greatest dynasties I've done. I've joined it and put a lot of work into it. Yeah, dude. You should be proud of yourself, man. You should be proud of yourself. It's, second and ten. it's not easy rebuilding a team. Once you get into the flow, then it'll become like second hand to you. But I'm sure when you first start, you're like, how the fuck do I do this? Oh. Oh, fuck, dude. James Game just fucking hurt the dude. He just undercut the fucking legs, and he's like, "Oh damn, dude, he fucking." Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. What a bitch. That's James Games talking. He's talking hella shit right now. What a bitch. I don't like the EHE's effect uh, affect me anymore. Yeah, absolutely, dude. It's it's it is frustrating as hell though. Stupid EHE's four verts, four verts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who was that? Richard Gardner. You sexy beast. 
You sexy ass motherfucker. 41 comeback. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, beat the brakes out there. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's all you can do. That's all you can control. Ah, oh, amazing. Almost there, dude. All right, come on, kill it. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Good block. Hit the edge. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. 22 yard return. That is awesome, dude. It is possible. Like what Kevin Garnett said back in the day. Anything's possible. What kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Let's go downhill, baby. Fucking love this offensive line right now. They are beasting it up, baby. Beasting it up. 16 yards already on that rush. 140 yards for the day. Four touchdowns for Malenko Random. Fucking beautiful. Beautiful display of running. From the 49 yard line. First down. Triple up. He crashed. There we go. Oh, this, this is T. Clizzle Pimp Bizzle's time to shine, baby. T. Clizzle Pimp Bizzle's time to shine. Yes, sir. I was doing the Florida Atlantic Dynasty, and I was playing the Raging Cajuns. I was up 30 and blew the 30-point lead and let them come back. You know what, dude? Sometimes it'd be like that, dude. Sometimes it'd be like that. Randy Random, Randy Random, let's go, baby, let's go. Yeah, Michael, Avant, dude, it'd be like that sometimes, man. I remember one game, I think at uh, ECU, it was like we were up 21, and I believe we were playing. Um, who was it? In, I think it was uh, Cincinnati. They had a baller ass team. We were up by 21, and this is where I like wasn't recruiting at my best. And they fucking came back and beat me by three. Yeah, you really have to like respond at some point. But if they if they just fucking let hell fucking break loose on you, you're fucked, dude. Oh shit. Pulled groin after that lick. Yeah, you got to. You got to. That's all you can do. But that's okay, man. We've all we've all had our meltdowns before, dude. Oh my god, he almost got that. Just always remember. Yeah, dude. Remember that moment and learn from it. Speed, speed always kills, dude. Speed always fucking kills. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. There we go, baby. What was your hardest dynasty? Honestly, I feel like ECU at the beginning was one of the hardest. Um, and I'll say UTSA when I first started my dynasty, that was kind of challenging just because... Um, I was still learning the game or relearning the game again. Um, and I, I didn't do such a good job recruiting. So games were pretty sweaty. And there were moments where I lost about like 60 points at some games just because like I didn't do a good job recruiting and my guys would just get fucking thrashed. And they would get thrashed. And then I wanted to keep building UTSA, but I fucked up on the thing coaching carousel and we I ended up going to Penn State for a year. But I'll say UTSA was kind of challenging because we only won 190 there. And now they got the revamp uniforms too, so I want to go back and, and finish finish my job. Uh, the Coach Gary Gaines look for bigger, better things. Oh God! Yeah, speaking breaking teams back, dude. Speed speed is amazing. Love speed. Love speed. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Ooh, Tico, oh, shit! Tico, what the fucking lick? Let's go! Holy shit, Tico, let's show the replay on here. Come on, replay. 
Yes, sir. Holy shit. Oh, come on, dude. That was a great fucking run. Holy shit, T Clizzle. Pimpizzle. For shizzle, my nizzle. There we go. Holy fuck. After Kansas Jayhawks is done, I'm going to see who needs me the most in coaching Karras. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Yeah, I still have junior senior season for the uh, Jayhawks. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna continue, go ahead and continue. If you wanna move on, definitely move on, dude. It's definitely your your season and or your dynasty. You do what the hell, whatever the hell you want to do with it. But yeah, me personally, I like to go to like the the smaller schools just to kind of like bring them up to greatness because no coach has ever done uh, ECU with a natties or or um, I mean ASU haven't ha hasn't had a natty in a while. Uh, UTSA definitely, you know, so I want to definitely build those uh, underdog teams to, to get their path to greatness. I usually try to find the worst team with the least amount of stock. Yeah, absolutely. I do this. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Yeah, it's always fun, you know, because it, it, just to see the progression and the, the amount of work. Oh, damn, what a throw. Just to see the amount of work that goes into it. Because with with like a let's say a power five school right that you um, that you inherit, they're already gonna have the A plus traditions. You're gonna have the bonuses in recruiting. So if you have a shitty school, it's gonna make recruiting a little tougher. Um, and rising the way to top two because I, I honestly believe I don't know if this is true, but I honestly believe that if you have like a small school like for example ECU or any team from like a non power five conference. The game is gonna program you to try to lose, so you're really playing against like the odds to really win. So, so that that's just my observation because I find myself breezing through recruiting and and get in the gameplay at Arizona State, but when I was at UTSA and ECU, it, it definitely had its challenges. Sissy Bowen, get up there, get up, get up. Oh, man. Yeah, we can thrive anywhere. Yep. Yeah. Conference does matter. Yeah. Play for FCS team. No, you can actually, if you have a Xbox or a uh, PS3, you can actually do a team builder and import an FCS team into the game. I can't do it because the uh, PC... Uh, is is all offline so yeah the way we recruit yeah we can thrive anywhere that, that is fact dude that is a fact i would do conservative we'll, we'll kill the clock First and ten, why do they put teams like that I'm using Illinois State, my current dynasty. Yes, sir. They're always 0-38 or something like crazy. Yeah, you know what, though? I like it when they have those teams up there just because of the fact that, like, it, it proves that, uh... Oh, Patrick Smith. It, it, it's because it, it gives, um, you know, people to want to play with those schools, you know? Like, let's say, for example, if I, like, for example, was back in college and I played NCAA and I want to play the school that I go to. For example, I went to Sac State, right, for my undergrad. I'd want to play a Sac State in a way, or like UC Davis or, or you know, Cal Poly or something. Um, but they're not in the game, so you can do like the team builder to import them into the game. And they do the custom uniforms, and they try to make the uh, stadium look accurate and everything too. So, yeah, like Dark Spectre does Illinois State. I've seen Vaughn do a Northern Colorado. Um, I've seen Stoner do Florida A&M, which is pretty awesome. ULM would be my first pick for New Dynasty. Yeah, dude, ULM, uh, Louisiana Monroe, they got some sweet, uh, sweet uniform options. They are some awesome uniform options. Uh, excuse me, guys. Oh, Uncle Sam did one. Nice, dude. No, what the, dude? Why'd you stop, man? You gotta keep going. That scared me a little bit. That scared me a little bit. Coastal is cool too. Yo, Coastal is awesome. Co Coastal is actually um, uh, programmed into the game with the revamp if you have that.
I know that um, Hardcore has this, um, I think like, I think it was Frisco, not Frisco. Well, I forgot what college he did, but he, he picked the college all the way out in Colorado that I've never heard of before. Yeah, App State, App State, yeah, is another one too. That was uh, added into the game. Charlotte's another one. 10 sacks, one interception, two pass breakups, and a fumble force. There we go, baby. Beautiful. I've seen it once. I'm like, what the, what the hell kind of school is that? Yeah, it's, it's like the red and black team. Something to do with, yeah, exactly, dude. I was like, I, I, it's been a while since I've hopped into hardcore streams, but I know it's a Frisco or something like, or something similar. Shit. Third and four. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Third and four. Let's let's sit back in the zone. No, oh, on that fucking wheel route. You son of a bitch. 76 to 14. Throw the day. <laughs> Throw the dagger. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Yeah, this is probably our best game so far this year. We've had some close ones this year. We're trying to repeat. So a lot of teams are targeting us right now. Teams are trying to be a bunch of homewreckers. But we're not letting that happen. We're not letting it happen. But that's nothing. Yeah, I've seen some. I've seen uh, Dark Spectres told me some stories where he scored like a hundred plus points in the game before. Oh shit! Ooh, tight spot. That was close, man. We can get up to the triple. I've never actually reached triple digits in this game, or right, this dynasty so far. I think the most I've had was like probably like this is the most I've had right now. Yo, Schwager, welcome in, dude. Happy Thanksgiving to you, dude. There we go, fourth and three. I had to use my uh, user status to ten, dude. That is so low. That is so low. You too kind, sir. Ah, oh, dude, thank, I appreciate you coming here on Thanksgiving Day, man. Or night, or post-Thanksgiving. I yeah, hope you're doing good. I hope you had a great day, dude. Yeah, it's great to have you here. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Way to cut back. Way to cut back. There you go. 19 for 164. Solid day for Malenko Random. Now, here's another one. Let's do a um, toss sweep. Toss sweep. Toss crack. There we go. I don't really mess with the under center very much. Just, I do it just to change it up. Just so the CPU doesn't cheese me. Oh, what a block. Get up, field. Ooh, and we got a first down, baby. Beautiful blocking. In the game. And he makes it to about the 41 yard line. Not two shabs, not two shabs. There we go, baby. That's what I like to see. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. 
Run this down to two. Crashing. Too fast, e Clizzle. Too fast, e Clizzle. Oh, where to stand your feet, e Clizzle. Pimpizzle. For sure, on my nizzle. Fucking beast. Dude, he's having a day too, man. No turnovers from T. Clizzo. Beautiful, dude. That's all we need, man. Just like a game manager, but who can also take over games. First and ten. Uh, the we'll take it, dude. Line. Oh, shit. Bad run. Bad angle. Chose the wrong lane. That was absolutely disgusting. That was horrific. Let's get this baby. There we go, ropes. There we go, ropes. Not bad. Not bad, ropes. All right, let's go ahead and uh, cure back Neo, I guess. Just to kill the clock. Let's get out of this. Let's show some mercy. Show some mercy. Good night, brother, and everyone have a great rest of the stream. Going to sleep. Let's go, Jay. It's time to go to Hobo. Yes, sir, Michael. Hey, hope you have a good night, rest, man. Thank you so much for coming in. Good luck to you, Jay Hawks. Let me know how, how everything else goes. Really appreciate you being here, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Pirates know that they have to enjoy this what a win. Damn, Malenko ran it with 201 yards total. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 16 for 16, 165 yards, 149 yards rushing, and four total touchdowns for Tikas Pimpers. That is a well deserved honor for player of the game. Beautiful pitch by Tikas Pimpers for Shizama Nizzle. To Patrick Smith for a massive fat gain. Look, all his the energy. Dude, thank you, man. I really appreciate that, dude. Awesome return by Austin Collie, man. Straight blazer. Blaze. Laser. Blazer. Look at that Patrick Smith. Beautiful. Look at that Malenko random. That is also beautiful. That is sexy. Austin Collie. That is sexy. Double knee brace gang. T close up in Buzz about to run over a fool. Let's go. What a win. There's nothing like NCAA football community. They're the best. No, I... I couldn't agree with you more, man. Yeah, the NCAA community is will, uh, should be highly acknowledged by the Twitch Twitch founders. All right, so we got some uh, individual stats for T. Clizzle, Pimp Pimpizzle with a quarterback rating of 248.5, 16 for 16, 165 yards passing, three touchdowns. So efficient today. Fucking love it. We got rushing with uh, Malenko Random, 20 rushes for 172 yards, four touchdowns. T. Clizzle, Pimp Pimpizzle, four for one. Whoa, 49. Whoa, shit. 21.2 average with one touchdown. Rose Pitback Jr., 7 for 50. Uh, Barcavius Crow, 1 for negative 2. Fick Knowles for 12. And then we got Patrick Smith, 1 for 58 for a touchdown. Absolutely beautiful. Malinka Random, 5 receptions for 29. Patrick Smith, 5 for 57. Randy Random, 2 for 27 with a touchdown. Fick Knowles, 2 for 20 with a touchdown. Wayne Keenoff, 2 for 32 with a touchdown. Fucking solid. Snashi has three pancakes. Bishop Sycamore with a pancake. Randy Randall with a pancake. Going to defense. Daniel Jones, four tackles. Oh, John Ross with four sacks. Fucking sick, dude. Cincy Bowen, four tackles, three tackles for loss, and a sack. James Games, three tackles, and a tackle for loss. Um, Sammy Danger, two, and a tackle for loss. Dark Specter Jr., two, and two tackles for loss with two sacks. Honey Badger, two. Tight spot with one, and an interception. Uh, Yates, let's see here. Fick Knowles, one. William Key, Austin Colley. We'll take it. We'll move on. We'll move on, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This is a